What? What's that? What do you want? All the shingles off? Go unload or need more? Go unload. Okay. I don't know what you're doing on that. What's that? It's a magnifying glass. I want to see what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought you were taking pictures. No, no pictures. What pictures? <laughs> we're not taking pictures. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it is. This is not a picture taker. <laughs> You're not fooling me. I know I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to bring the truck over here then. We are in Pennsylvania. We got married three weeks ago. And we are helping a friend redoing this little roof here. This is my wife and she's the one that I, why I married her. I married her because she's a Mexican, she can work hard. <laughs> Come on, you strip this roof. But <laughs> well, I already, I almost finished. Okay. He was talking in the phone. Okay. <laughs> she stripped his whole roof yeah. while I was on the phone. <laughs> and I said something, saying, I don't need this, the yellow thing. He said, I need it because it took me 40 minutes, not even 20. I did it. And he was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it there so when he comes back. <clears throat> Alright, so that's it. We're stripping his roof. And then we're gonna put the uh by the way the roof was too low a pitch for shingles and that's why you see all of this it's wet underneath it. <clears throat> now that's not the only reason the chimney flashing is leaking because you can see water coming from the chimney and from this chimney. From that chimney so water was coming underneath this uh, <coughs> roof here and it rotted this area out you see the rot here so we're gonna replace this while we're here in Pennsylvania at the church conference this is our week off but we're doing a little job quickly <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Now we have a big problem. The beams are rotten. Okay. Let me give you a list so you can go and get it. I'm gonna strip everything. Um, whoa, this is a job. Okay, we're gonna strip everything. Or it's 10. Make it 12. Good. Get the flat bar, pry bar. Flat bar over there somewhere? Yeah, we'll, and get the saw, the circular saw. All right. We got so far. So we got some rotten beams. And what we're going to do is now remove that fascia. The fascia is all rotten. There you go. You got it? Yeah, okay. Get the stuff out of it. Nice. And then... Yeah. Oh, you can, you can even call. This is a... A favor, not a job for work. Ay, 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 ay. What am I getting myself into? All this junk. They go all the way this. It looks like it's a two by six. Let me see. Alright. This is what happens if you put shingles on a relatively flat roof. This is what happens when you wait five years to fix the leak. Now you gotta replace everything. Anyway, hey, while I'm at this, can you comment down below? What do you think about this mess? Tell me what you think, why everybody has an opinion. And what do you think? 
Should we strip the whole thing and put new rafters? Or should we just sister up the beams? I'm gonna tell you at the end what my opinion is. I want you to write now what your opinion is. Should we strip the entire roof, all the plywood, all the beams, and then start over again? Or do we just replace the rotten areas? Okay. I will tell you my opinion. Remember, this is a favor. This is not a job for pay. Okay? I hate favors. I hate to do anybody a favor because it always ends up more than you want to what you bargained for. All right. Anyway, he's a friend in the church where I go to and we know each other for a long time and he doesn't walk good. He has problems with walking. So, I'm healthy. So who gets to do it? The healthy guy. And his wife. <laughs> uh, I'm learning. Are you learning? Here? Yeah. No, you but, don't. No, but I want you to comment about my job. About oh. If I'm doing good or not. Oh, she wants you to say what you think about what she does. Yes. Okay, you tell us below, and I will tell you what I think at the end of this video. Yes. Please comment it. About my job, <laughs> not about this doctor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So what we're doing is, we got the plywood down. All right. Yeah. Look at the piece that you cut it. I know it fits, huh? Fit perfectly. Fits perfect. Okay, we'll just use it. All right. All right, that's it. We got the plywood in. Now we're gonna do the the, the roof. Now I'm gonna do what I was supposed to come and do. Not carpentry, roofing. Ay ay ay. All right, sweetheart. You cannot do. You cannot do that. Don't put tools away. It's not the end of the day. Ay ay ay. Don't put bad tools in the vacuum. I cannot believe it. Everything goes in a bag. <laughs> I'm still working. Okay, okay. Okay. Got it? Okay. All right. I forgot to show you, but I put a self stick base on. We're going to do a peel and stick. Um, this is a peel and stick system. So, this is the first layer, the self stick uh, base. Uh, by Liberty, you can see it, it sticks, it sticks everywhere, no matter what you do, it sticks, look at my hands, it sticks there, and it sticks everywhere, so the moment it gets hot, this is going to stick, you'll never get it off, so um, that's a very good system, it's expensive, more expensive than torch down, but uh, for a slanted roof like this, this is the best thing you can do, and any homeowner can do it, you can do it. Hey, if you've done it before, tell me about it below. I want to know what you, your experience is, but this is a very easy system. Now I'm going to get the cap sheet, which is, but well, I first have to do a drip edge around. So then you put your base sheet down, then you put your drip edge down. So let me do that. Bud, yeah. do you have roofing nails? Yeah, I think I, I, need, I need roofing nails. Okay. Show me your muscles. I mean your muscles. He hates it. Like Peter. I'm not saying 110 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I got three of them to do. Do a uh, well, two of them. Ah. Okay. 110 pounds on my shoulder. Okay, I'm not a young chicken anymore. Are you 60? Oh, yeah. still have okay. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, bud? Huh? How old are you? 73. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Where'd you start, baby? We got a matching roof here. Okay. Alright. Yep. 
the beach <gasps> man steel. All right, so that's how you put yeah. the cap. <laughs> After you put the base, you put the cap sheet. And this cap sheet, we happen to get in the color. Of the okay. All right. And what you push? Right to the edge. Right to the edge there. That's too much. Okay. What you do is so you take the plastic off, not the top. Pull it off. Go ahead. And that's it. Beautiful. Then you put them off the plastic, and that's how you do the whole roof. After you got your preparation done, and and after you got everything done, yeah, you can put it back. You can put it back. How you doing, baby? All right, so I think what you wrote, and this is my opinion. When you do a project, there's either money involved or no money involved. And when you do a favor, it becomes an issue. I think you do your best, but you don't I cannot go and redo another man's job that was done incorrectly. The real thing, the right way is to strip everything and put two by eights and put the right rafters and all that stuff. But I did not. I just tried to bring it back to where the other guy left it last time. With a, but my opinion is, now here, here, here comes my line. Never do favors. You pay for somebody else's service and let somebody else pay for your service. Never do favors. They don't work. They can create enemies. That's my take on favors. Okay. Sweetheart, you're doing a good job. Okay. Este video is para... Do it again. Please don't forget to thumbs up. I'm the flat roof doctor and I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two, blah, blah, blah.